Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to create a very simple building zoom grow effect in After Effects. So let's jump in. So the first thing you need to do is you need to be able to create a new composition from the stock footage that we have. So we've got the stock footage there. There's, um, we only want five seconds on this. So what we are going to do is we are just going to drag that area to about five seconds and then we are going to go to trim comp to work area and there we have it now this footage is a little bit shaky so what we need to do is we need to go to our effects and presets and run warp stabilizer over it and this will just smooth out the clip cool so that's done now you can notice here that the clip is much smoother once you've done that then we need to go into our uh, effects and go into mocha to actually start the masking so we need to go over here and click on mocha and then this will bring up mocha so what we need to do is we need to grab so I'm just going to move the the playhead right from the first frame we just need to then go and create a spline and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a mask around this building now it doesn't have to be that accurate but just when you're finished you need to make sure that you are joining the entire object now you can if you want to zoom in and you know fix up any errors you can do that in here or you can use the scroll um, button on your mouse to zoom around uh, your screen Anyways, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we click on all of our track motion options and then we need to start the track. So I'm moving forward in this time so I'm just going to click on that button and you can see here it will go through each frame and it will try and track that tower. Excellent, so that's done. So now you can scrub through and you can see that as I'm moving through the frames the towers pretty much tracked and if there's any errors in there you can go back and you can add some more points and you can kind of fix that up anyways once you're happy with that we then can move and save our project we can close it and then what we need to do is we need to go to matte and we need to create that mask so now that I've created my uh, mask from Mocha what I need to do is I need to duplicate this layer and I'm just going to take off that eye just for now. I'm going to work on the bottom layer and I'm going to open up my masks and make sure that I'm on my layer one mask and I'm just going to go to subtract. And so now once I've done that, you can see that there's a whole big black section here that that's my mask pretty much. And so what I need to do is I need to fill in that with a color, the color of the sky. So I need to create a new solid doesn't matter what color the solid is and I'm just going to put it underneath all of my layers and I'm just going to go to effect uh, generate and then I'm going to go to gradient ramp and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick the two colors of the sky and you can keep picking until you kind of get an outline that you can't see anymore so I'm just going to click on this area over here and I'm going to click the end of the ramp over there and you can move these around and you can try to get rid of any imperfections in that sky and if you still if you have a black line or if you have anything else um, on that mask what you can do is you can go to mask expansion and then you can just drop it by maybe negative 0.5 and that will kind of get rid of anything else so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to label these so that's going to be the background and this is going to be the tower so now I've got my tower in there and it's all looking good um, all I need to do is drag the tower underneath the background and then we can start to animate the actual tower so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to press P on my keyboard to bring up the position and you can see here if I move it around you can see that I can really create that animation right there and it's looking pretty good already so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to one second I'm going to click on the stopwatch I'm going to move it over to about the four second mark 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the, the tower off the frame. So it looks like that. So I'm just going to go fit. And so now what happens is the tower will animate up. And so it looks pretty cool at the moment, but there are definitely some things that we can do to improve this animation. The first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we turn these into easy ease uh, keyframes. You can press F9 on your keyboard. Okay, we can also add motion blur on this uh, layer over here. And so now what we've got is we've got a nice graphic that kind of you know eases in and also eases out with a little bit of motion blur. The final thing that we can have a look at is we can actually go into our graph editor, right? And we can now change the acceleration of this animation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring this over a little bit. So it's going to accelerate up pretty fast and then it's just going to settle back into place at a slower pace. So now that our animation is working pretty well, the last things that we can do to this is we can, you know, actually put uh, sound effects and things like that on top of it. We can put in um, Lumetri color to give it like a final touch of color grading. Now you can do this inside of After Effects or you can do this um, in Premiere if you like. But to add, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pre-compose all of these uh, clips and I'm just going to call it Okay, so now the next thing that we can do to this is we can just go into our transform settings We can go to scale and what we're going, going to do is we're just going to scale this up by a little bit So if I go all the way to to the end and if I just put it to 110% Okay, now as the clip goes forward with the animation, it also scales into the clip as well. So you've got kind of double movement happening on this clip. The last thing that we can do is we can add an adjustment layer by going into our adjustment layer and then we can go into Lumetri Color and we can drag Lumetri Color on that adjustment layer and then we can go into Creative and we can find the look that we want. So once you're happy with the look that you want, you know, the final thing that you can add is the sound effects. So I've also attached the sound effects for you guys to use in your videos if you try and recreate this at home. Anyways, guys, that was a pretty long tutorial. I hope you learned something and I will see you next time.